there. Hello there. And welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. And I'm Josh. And this is The Rubble Files. And this is this episode is going to be about Star Wars Black Series toys. Because what I need is to spend more money on freaking plastic. <laughs> yeah, I had to stop. As is, I still have a case in my closet unopened that has a brand new Boba Fett, the original first run oh, Boba yeah. Fett, the oh, Black yeah. Series. Yeah, I haven't touched that. Uh, I actually bought... Um, the Obi Wan pop over there, oh, over yeah. your shoulder this week. Uh, I got unsupervised uh, trip to Zia, and it was on the shelf, and I'd never seen it. So whenever you, if, if you've never seen it before, buy it. <laughs> it's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, but uh, so this uh, conversation is going to be about the Black Series toys that are coming out this year. Now there's the. Per the article that we're reading, uh, we weren't able to really find an official date. However, what we think is, uh, what we know for sure is all 22 announced Black Series toys are coming out in 2019. Yep. And we feel that probably going to be spread out between May the 4th and Force Friday in September. Yeah, I don't see them coming out. I, I you know, in, as, as an avid consumer of force friday uh <laughs> but uh i don't think we're gonna see them uh too much after force friday force friday is really gonna be tailored for episode nine um we're gonna see the merchandise usually the first wave of merchandise hit the shelves yeah uh usually for force friday um so if they if if it stands to reason their usual trickle out si cycle we'll probably see it uh probably shortly after celebration we'll probably see a couple of them right and that will start trickling out wave by wave up until probably about Force Friday. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these are actually um, maybe celebrations exclusives, but they didn't really say that. I'm just speculating. Yeah, they're loud. they're not saying. The only one that I think they mentioned in the article that was going to be kind of an exclusive is the one I know we both want, and, and that's the Walgreens Clone, Clone Wars Obi Wan, and that's a Walgreens. Walgreens. One. <laughs> now, now for those of you who aren't in the state of Arizona, <laughs> let me explain something. There's a Walgreens literally every mile. Yes. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's We it's, can walk to one right now. Yeah, Actually, it's I like think the we could walk to three tree. right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, Walgreens is like the state tree. And, you know, so now now this is funny because when Black Series brought out the, uh, the, the exclusive that they had was the Boba Fett prototype arbor, all white. Yeah, yeah. And I never found it. Um, yeah. So, so a friend of ours managed to find it and then proceeded to rub it in my face. Um, <laughs> thanks, Kat. I was going to ask who it was. Uh, I actually had in my hand at Zia this weekend the um, Funko Pop of the Boba Fett prototype. Mm -hmm. I never, and again, it's one I'd never seen before. Uh, and Saw I it at my Zia. I don't have it. I don't have any Boba Fetts. I'm looking at my way up my, my pops. My problem is, is I have a rule. I, I, me personally, I do not buy anything Empire. I specifically don't buy anything. I have acquired things that are Empire, but I have never, okay, I've bought one, I've bought one thing that's Empire, and it's the signed um, Vader from Empire Strikes Back of with Prowess and um, Jerry Buckle, Bucket, Buckle, Buckle, Buckledge. I can't say his last name, um, but it's the it's the guy actually in the suit. It's the in the Vader suit. It's the guy who is actually in the suit for Boba Fett, the voice of Boba Fett. Oh, and they Jeremy all sign. Bullock. Bullock. There you go, Jeremy Bullock. I'm trying to read his handwriting. You're up talking there. about the guy in the suit for Vader. Um, and, and yes, the guy in the suit for Vader too. Um, David Prowse. Um, you're you're making Darth Revan cry right now. I, I, I know I'm just a terrible person, but that's the only Empire thing I've ever bought. I have other Empire stuff, but it's always been given to me as a gift or, or, you know, or my wife has gotten it when, when she was out shopping. So I've never specifically bought anything other than that one because um, it was worth it to buy it when I got the chance. So anyways, um, we're off on a tangent of me and celebrate and all the shit I have in my house. Um, I also have a Poe Dameron's X-Wing up there in Lego. Um, <laughs> We've all got that one Lego. Mine's an A-Wing. Uh, I want an A-Wing, too. Um, so all of these announcements came out last year at New York Comic Con that we know of, uh, mm -hmm. and um, they've started kind of throwing things out there and stuff. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Black Series XL. Now, the regular Black Series are six-inch toys, mm -hmm. um, which are pretty cool. The XLs will be a little bit taller, 
Um, I'm thinking more like 10 to 12 inches in size. Um, they'll be a little bit more expensive. They'll be like 30 to 35 dollars, depending on where you're at. Um, and the first one that they put, put sent out was, um, it looks like it's gonna be well. There's a couple other ones that they have talked about, but well, they have a Gamorrean Guard. They've got Moloch out. Those are actually well, the Gamorrean Guard wasn't. It was out for a while. The current one they've got is Moloch. Uh, yeah, not yeah. a lot of people are buying them up. He's still a target everywhere, kids. Uh, right. Um. But that I mean, those are uh, like a first serious character for the XL line yeah. is going to be General Grievous yep. with all the lightsabers. And this is the one where I showed my wife this afternoon. I'm like, I might have to get this one, and I need a shelf to put because I'm um, I'm a big leave them in the box guy. But some of the ones that they're doing in this whole series. I think they need to come out of the box. And I, I have is a half and half. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so this Grievous one is pretty cool. He's got the cape and all the different arms and the different lightsabers, and you can, you know, the pliable and move them around. And it's the and the cool part about it is is they're they're starting to play with some of the new mediums with these figures. So Hasbro now has a a real face scan technology. Yes. So instead which of, we're gonna talk about in a minute. Yeah. With the other so one. instead of having the sculpts, actually guys re-sculpting it, they're actually able to do what uh, Gentle Giant was doing and actually do scans of the face so they're accurate. Um, and the Grievous one actually has the soft touch technology. So it's not a fabric cape, but it's not a hard polyvinyl. It right. actually flows and is somewhat malleable to different form. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And that, that might be the one my second one that I have to track down. There's the, we'll get, we're, we're just going to get there. Um, so they're doing a series called black series archive. It is, um, different characters from the past that we're bringing in. Um, it's going to be Luke in the, uh, in the X wing pilot outfit. We're getting Bubba Fett, IG 88 and boss Bosk. Um, so you get your bounty hunters, you know, redo yep. the scene. If you want to do the redo the scene, we're getting Yoda, um, the original trilogy Yoda, which is different than the prequel, the trilogy. prequel trilogies. It's got a little snake on it and stuff. We're getting a biker scout and we're getting Anakin from episode three. So the dark brown, black vest, gloved hand, um, that kind of thing. That one, um, the X-Wing Luke and the Anakin are two that I think I might have to track down. I actually have the X-Wing Luke. That was probably one of the first ones that I bought when Black came out. Oh, yeah. Uh, along with Darth Maul. Right. Um, so I have that. I don't have the Biker Scout, which is actually kind of sad because the Biker Scouts to me were some of the coolest Stormtrooper armor ever. Period. I do. Wait, no, I take that back. I do have a Biker Scout because I've got, I've actually got the speeder bike. Oh, I yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I do have it. Yeah. But he's not, you can't stand him up. He's bow legged. He's bow legged and he's on the thing. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the Black Series exclusives. These are going to be exclusive ones to Target. Uh -huh. um, and we're going to get a uh, Rocket Trooper from Rebels um, and Battlefront 2 that came out. Um, and then let's just get into it. It's Obi Wan. It's happening. Obi Wan, Clone Wars Obi Wan. They did Ewan McGregor's face. The real scan, yep. With the real scan. They're not doing the cartoon version. He's got the cape and the full armor. It's <laughs> freaking awesome. The uh, only thing that I'm missing, I think is missing, and the, the two photos that we can see mm -hmm. is you don't have the, the pauldron. It doesn't with, show the, the pauldron with the, the Rebel logo uh, on it. Uh, no, it's the um, Empire. It's not the Empire logo. It's the um, Jedi um, logo. From the it's not the it's not the rebel one from Clone Wars. Oh, that's right. You're you're correct. It's the, it's, it was the early version of the Jedi Order it, it, the symbol, one, which right. is similar to the and rebel I logo. think it's on his left shoulder. If I remember, if I remember right. correctly, in the pictures, uh, it, it, we can't see the right shoulder. Yeah. Um, but the left shoulder is blank, and that's it's again it's detail. You get six inch characters. That's a lot of detail um, for a twelve to fifteen dollar toy. Uh, but I mean. It, that, that, that's the that's the that's the one that's the it's an impressive looking figure for for those of us who can't afford what was it the uh, hot, toys. hot toys version uh hot which toys. was there's an ad on actually on this the, article the for the worthy one um I, I like the black series they fill that void they're highly yeah. detailed highly posable they're fantastic yeah sports. even some of the older ones that i've got i've got Django and i've got kanan yeah uh, and they're really well done for pre being able to do the the 
the face scan thing oh, yeah, absolutely. and stuff. Um, so then the basic line, the regular line, the ones that we're getting, we're getting Hondo, uh, Vice Admiral Hondo. We're getting Ezra um, with his helmet and the lightsaber. We're getting Chopper, who looks like he's trying to escape with a jetpack. Well, his jetpack. We are getting, um, what is, uh, as, uh, Dr. Afra 000, and BT-1. I think it's 000, I can't remember how to yep. pronounce it. Um, uh, BT-1 from the Afra comic. So we're getting all of those. Now, Afra looks a little different from the comic, mm-hmm. but that's okay. Um, we are getting, um, uh, uh, we are getting. Let's see, I'm trying to find the. Uh, so how the um, we're getting Mace Windu from Episode One. We're getting Padme Amidala from Attack of the Clones. We're getting Dryden Voss and Han Solo, the Mud Trooper version from Han Solo, and then Ezra and Chopper and stuff like that. And um, and I here's my problem. The one I want the most mm. from this group is a character I don't think you know about. Is Mister Bones. Everybody wants Mr. Bones. Do tell. Mr. Bones is a um, battle droid um, in the Aftermath series that is Snips or Snaps um, Guardian. He took an old battle droid that he found, pieced it all back together, and made it a sentient murder bot. Oh, and is oh, and okay. is and he and he, it is programmed to keep. Uh, snaps alive and anybody else he says keeps alive so it's like multi-armed and um and like got like knives for hands and stuff like that and it's all bloodied and like stuff like that so that's the one everybody wants and i've seen some drawings and some people have like done some custom versions of that so they're gonna do a battle droid like all the custom ones are gonna be able to do mr bones now it's gonna be really awesome or here, Disney, Hasbro, here's your million-dollar idea. You've already done it with the Marvel figures. Make a build-a-figure of Mr. Bones. Yes. So you have to buy 82 figures to build him, <laughs> but make yes. Sean happy. Uh, everybody, I actually want Mr. Bones in the XL version. I, I think and, it would be fitting. In the bigger, in the bigger I, version. He's a little bit bigger character in the books. They, they, they talk about looking up to... Well, the, so if he's one of the... I, and I'm terrible. I didn't read all the aftermath books. Um, if he's the assassin droid or the battle droid, he's the battle droid. He's not the assassin the droid. Regular battle droid, but the assassin. He's okay. the ere- he's the regular. Uh, it, I mean, that's the picture right, right there. Right. Um, everybody, look. We're all looking at the same thing. Um, but th- that one is like uh, that one. We, Mr. Bones is the one we want of this series. Mm-hmm. I have to have Mace Windu. I think everybody's got to have Mace Windu because badass motherfucker. Um, but he, you know, to have. The purple lightsaber, I think, is the biggest thing. Yeah, I mean, it's it, we we love the character. For me, it's Chopper. I Chop, I, yeah, Chop. I've, yeah. I've got to have Chopper. Ezra, I don't like that iteration of Ezra. It's like season one, season two. It's Rebels, like, Ezra, kind of like this one. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. Uh, but Chopper, I love Chopper. I probably love Chopper more than I love R two, and that's almost blasphemous. It, he's um. He's a less censored version than of R two. He is he is straight out like just. There's been a couple of times they're like everybody in the cast like turns around like chop you know right <laughs> in rebels. Um, the Dryden Voss one is interesting too because where I was reading is his scars on his face will change color depending on the temperature of the room. Now see, I had not heard that, and they were saying that possibly the chopper. With the um, exhaust smoke coming out of the bottom of the rocket, might do the same thing. That would actually be interesting. I've had I've had a number of figures that have you know small micro battery light figure light elements. Right. You know, can right. I see them do it, building that into a six inch figure? I mean, they built it into shell from Portal. Um, I think it would be cool. I think any features that you can get that are passive. Right. You know, uh, add to the 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 statue factor. Right, of, right. You know. They um they did one for celebration last year that I didn't get until late. I didn't understand it. I won't put it that way until later. And they did um like a movie scene like the pops do, uh, but it was a full on like big stage, and it was Ray and Kylo in the ring, mm-hmm. and you could plug it in and put water in it. And the water would waterfall over the back, and then it would all light up. Cool. And I was not like, in my centerpiece. I was like, that's really dumb. 
in a really cool way. Like, it, right. like you start thinking, cool, but yeah, <laughs> I don't, I like, I don't, I like, I don't, I a, I don't like taking things out of the box, right? But this is one of the ones you have to take out of the box. You have to put the water in it. You have to yeah. have the lights go, and then like. You, you, you can't just leave the water in it, so you have to let it, like let it run, and then it's like so it was like, and it was big. It was like you know, it's the it's it was a six fi- six inch figures. So there's two six inch figures inside this box. I was just like, I don't get it, but eh, that's okay, that's fine. I don't know. I uh, I know they mentioned in this article they were talking about one of the big things with the Black Series is they haven't announced any real new vehicles this year, right? You know, and that for me is is actually kind of a bummer. So. Here's, and creatures too, wasn't it? Vehicles and creatures. And creatures? Yeah, yeah, they're really not. They're really not doing it this year. I think they're honestly they're not selling well. I think like the do back in the stormtrooper arc because it's classic, it's iconic. Moloch not so much. Emphasis nests has moved a little bit. Um, the speeder bikes they couldn't keep them in stock. I like I like the emphasis nest one. I've tried to buy the emphasis nest of one's times. awesome. Yeah. I, I dig that one. Um, Again, one that has to come out of the box. Yeah, exactly. I my I was tempted when I got my speeder bike to leave it in the box because it's on a yeah, stand. Yeah. I could not do that. I had like three speeder bikes as a kid, three troopers for, you know, build an army type thing. Um, but I, when they came out with the TIE fighter for the six, the, the six injured in the black series, um, I sat on the fence for so long about getting, cause I wanted it. I wanted it stupid. Right. I wanted like a kid on Christmas, but I don't have the room. That right. thing's huge. Right. Um, and the downside to that is I know full well, and I keep hoping they're going to do it. If they bring out an X-Wing, I'll own it. Yeah. I'm surprised, I'm surprised they didn't do Poe's X-Wing um, from either Force Awakens or Last, Je- Last Jedi. Now, la- the one from Last Jedi, it's only really in it for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but they did do um, a couple different versions of the one from Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I have the, I have the Lego one. Which is like as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I need to have that in Lego, and then like shortly thereafter, right. it happened. Um, but then they also did like the die cast little versions, um, the little like matchbox size card yep, ones, I love those. And, like stuff. And so those are cool too because they're they're good on space. Mm-hmm, they are. But um, I like the fuller size kind of ones and stuff. And I, I was the kid who had airplanes hanging, you know, airplane models hanging from a ceiling. So. Whenever I have a chance to pull in something like that, I really want to do that. Absolutely. I actually, I actually want a full size, a fuller size uh, Firefly from Serenity and Firefly. Uh, yeah. um, I've seen the Lego version that somebody actually put together on their own, and uh, I that that would be on. I would have a lit shelf on its own for that. Yep. Um, so of the stuff this year, we know Obi Wan, um, Mace Windu, Chop, you know that all kind of that. So, not knowing what new characters we're going to get here in the very new f- future with uh, Episode 9 and some of the books that we talked about in the last episode, um, what character have they not done that you would like to see? I love doing this to him. It's a Teal Shan. Oh, okay. We've got Revan. They got Revan. Yeah. Uh, I, Shaquille I, Shan would be interesting. Uh, I want to see some of the Old Republic stuff. I, I really do. There, there's some really, really good characters. Star Killer would be cool too. Star Killer would be good. Um, I, they, again, these are they're they're cast they're they're, they're molds that they've done in the three and a half inch figures, right? The three and a quarter inch figures, uh, but they haven't done in the big ones. Um, I know they put out uh, they, they, every now and then Hasbro, and, and for those who who know and don't know, uh, the reason Darth Revan actually existed as a figure was because Hasbro goes out and they pull. They do a yeah. poll saying, which of these characters d- would you like to see as a figure? And obviously, Revan was going to be one of the big ones. Um, I do remember seeing Starkiller at one point um, in that in polling. That list, yeah. um, and I think it did really good, but it didn't win out overall because Revan's got a little bit of a, of a deeper mythology. Um, this is going to be the stupidest thing ever. Um, and I'm going to say it because I don't care. When I was a kid in the original Star Wars toys, I loved my Rancor monster. Yeah. I love my Rancor. <laughs> I want a six foot. I want one that's going to sit there and be that tall that could actually eat the six inch Gamorrean guard. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, I, I'd be a kid. He'd just, he'd just hang out and be my buddy on my work desk. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought about the, I think they did the Leia, um, when she, they're breaking Han out of Jabba's palace. I think the they bush, did that. The Boosh. The Boosh. Yep. Yeah. I think they, they, they think did, they that, did one. that one. Um, uh, and then, like you know, there's like a couple other ones that kind of pop up in your head. It'd be cool to have a like a full Java set. It would be kind of cool. But I think they did something like that. I don't know if they Java. did. 
Um, I don't think it was a big full size one that they should have done. No, it wasn't a scale. It wasn't the, yeah, it wasn't it was a scale. scale. I want it big to scale. If they're gonna do the six inch figures, I want to have the scale bubble fat. Um, but really random, the first one that came to my mind is Iden Versio from Battlefront. Oh yeah, and, you know because especially because of. The, her look is very Empire. She's a TIE fighter pilot. She's an elite TIE fighter pilot. Um, but she's also a special ops kind of person with the specialty force kind of, you know, the, they do the, spe- the, the behind the scenes stuff. But the thing about her is she's got a droid that actually attaches to her backpack. Yeah. And it's, it's, it, it's, it, in real life, it's about, a little bit bigger than a frisbee, right? And it's got the the tentacles hanging off of it, like the probe droid does. Yep. And in the game, you can actually move that. You actually do stuff with the droid and stuff. But it'd be cool to have her standing there with her helmet with the with like the droid like hang, like hanging in space, kind of next to her. So like a two piecer kind of thing. Double a little clear stance. A little clear stance or yeah. something like that. I think that would be like really cool. I and mean, maybe they did it. I just don't know. But I they think that would be really Not that I know cool. Of. Um, and then have the other ones from Inferno Squadron and do a, th- a three-person p- kind of thing. You do a three-pack. And the other thing I think that would be easy for them to do if they really wanted to milk that machine is they've already got the mold for the TIE Fighter. Right. So instead of packing a TIE Fighter pilot in it, pack Iden Versio yeah. in with a it, that that's the Inferno Squadron TIE Fighter. That I would not be it. surprised if that was one of those ones they did for like celebration and nothing else. It, it, it and, wouldn't shock me, but it would be cool as hell. It would be cool <laughs> as hell just her standing there and as a six inch character with the droid and just hold, her holding her helmet. Uh, Gianna Fragaco I cannot say her name. Um, but she is a super Star Wars nerd who got to play her, and then she read the audiobook and stuff. And so, um, whenever she gets Star Wars stuff, I'm always like super good on her. Oh, yeah. So, um, so that's the Black Series toys that are coming out this year. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if maybe something pops up at Celebration since we're all talking about Celebration right now. That's See a limited edition. Yeah, there'll be something. Um, there's one that came out um, at last year's cele- or two years ago Celebration. Uh, and it was uh, a Funko Pop, and it was Leia. Um, was it Leia and the speeder? In the in the I, forest attire. I think you're right. I think it's I think, right. it's, I think it was that one. I it's, it's, it, it, and I'm like, oh, fuck me. I need because <laughs> I have a small Funko problem. I get that uh, way with San Diego Comic Con. They're like, here's the limited exclusive, and I'm like, no. The one they did last year at San Diego was awesome because they did. Um, they did a Kenner toy in the, the the cardboard backing. They did it like a Kenner toy, yep. and it was Afra, Dr. Afra. And then they did a three-piece with Afra and the two droids. And I had never seen any, and then we were at Ace Comic Con, and the, the guy we spent like a 45 minutes talking to from San Diego, he had one on the shelf, and I just noticed it as we were walking away. And I'd already spent my money for the weekend, and I was like, mother. I wanted one of these so freaking. It was just the three piece, and you could only get it at San Diego. And oh, yeah. you had to get the you had to get a raffle to get into the lottery. Yeah, and so it was just like son of a bitch. Uh, so that's what the Black Series toys that we're looking forward to coming up this year. Um, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of more toys as we get closer to uh, May the Fourth and Force Friday, and as we get into Episode Nine title still unknown uh so what did you guys think i know some of this is kind of older news but also it's toys so we're always going to spend some time talking about toys let us know what you guys think tell us which one you're excited to buy uh and tell us which one you're going to buy first second and third because we all know that's what you're going to do uh (laughs) subscribe to the channel help us on patreon subscribe to all of our social media stuff all of the information is down here somewhere in the information and until next time i am one with the force and the fourth is with us oh i did it again <laughs>